In the Star Wars universe, the Jedi are seen as the protectors of peace and justice, while the evil Sith use the dark side to control and oppress. But when you look closer at the respective ideologies and codes, it seems that the dark side worshippers aren't all that bad, and the Jedi aren't all they're cracked up to be either. <laughs> Here are 10 Star Wars facts that will make you rethink the dark side. Oh no. The Sith Code. Now, we all love the Jedi, but the Code of the Sith is actually relatable to most people. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. The Force shall set me free. Where the Jedi are taught to suppress their emotions, the key to being Sith is to be emotional, be passionate. Basically, to be human. There's nothing inherently evil in that philosophy, as opposed to the Jedi code of being cold, detached, and ignoring your passion. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. The Sith know fear. The Jedi are discouraged from ever experiencing fear, which happens to be the primitive instinct that makes us who we are and keeps us alive. Fear leads to the dark side, they say, ignoring the fact that a fear of being wiped out of existence and preserving their knowledge kept the Sith alive for over a thousand years. It's not as clear-cut as the Jedi imply, either, since you could argue that it's Yoda's fear of Anakin Skywalker's future that delays the boy's training. A little more fear could have saved the galaxy a lot of trouble. At last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we will have revenge. Patience is a virtue. After being defeated by the Jedi, the Sith were exiled into space and went into hiding to prepare their counterattacks centuries in the future. They waited a thousand years before striking again, letting the revenge take shape as their entire order faded into legend. Planning such a complicated war and coup just one master and apprentice at a time took incredible devotion, and that level of discipline puts them in a league of their own. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. You only live once. The Jedi believe in life after death and live accordingly, tolerating conflicts and strife with patience and meditation. The Sith, on the other hand, believe that life is all we have, and prefer to live to the fullest and in the moment, doing whatever they can to create some kind of statement or legacy in their lifetime. The Jedi may claim to protect the living, but it's the Sith who are actually living themselves. Let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. Jedi are great manipulators. Here's a question. What trick is the most effective when a Jedi gets cornered or caught? The Jedi mind trick, of course. You will remove these restraints and leave the cell with the door open. I will remove these restraints and leave the cell with the door open. For an order that claims to be morally sound, preying on the weak-minded and manipulating them to do as they're told, instead of taking the initiative and fixing the situation themselves, seems kinda weird. But if the Jedi are conflicted about the trick, we never see it. And you'll drop your weapon? And I'll drop my weapon. The Sith's mission is to learn and to teach. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. After being nearly wiped out by the Jedi, Darth Bane decided to restructure the Sith Order from the ground up. Realizing that having thousands of passionate members led to rivalry and greed, he created the Rule of Two, meaning only two Sith could exist at any one time. A master to teach and an apprentice to learn. The system worked perfectly, and the Sith continued until Vader and Palpatine met their ends on the second Death Star a millennia later. You mean I get to come with you and your starship? Yes. The Jedi are child abductors. Those who practice the dark side usually do it willingly, deciding the Sith is their rightful destiny. Jedi children have no say in their training at all, and they're usually taken as youngsters when they exhibit a knack with the Force and are recruited by the Jedi. The Sith may leave grieving families in their wake, but the Jedi tear them apart just to fill their own ranks. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. Shady Coup. Just picture it. A highly trained squad of peacekeepers storm a government building to arrest the head of state because they think his religion and politics are evil without any hard facts. Pretty out there, right? Well, that's exactly what the Jedi did, claiming that the courts couldn't be trusted to bring Chancellor Palpatine to justice. Couldn't the Jedi have tried gathering any evidence and explaining to the Republic and its citizens the reason for concern and end Palpatine's reign democratically? Instead, they went in, lightsabers blazing with intent to kill without due process. Is this the kind of people we want taking our kids? So what I told you was true, from a certain point of view. A certain point of view? 
from a certain point of view. One constant in the Star Wars saga is that the Jedi have no trouble being dishonest. Whether it's Ben Kenobi not telling Luke that Vader is his father, or claiming that Vader murdered Anakin, or stating that he would have wanted Luke to have his old lightsaber, the Jedi manipulate the truth to support their own mission. And if you thought Anakin came back to the light before he died, you're wrong. Yoda told us flat out that once the dark side has you, it will never let go. And here we thought only the Sith deal in absolutes. Luke Skywalker is essentially a mass murderer. Has anyone stopped and realized that while the Rebels were cheering and celebrating the destruction of the first Death Star, Luke had essentially killed over a million people stationed on board serving their government's armed forces? Aside from the soldiers, the crew, support staff, even the cooks were reduced to ash in a split second, and their killer was laughing and being awarded a medal just minutes later. Those are the reasons we think Star Wars fans need to reconsider the dark side and the light. But which ones have we missed? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.